Welcome back, fellow Liberty Entrepreneurs. This is your host, Ash Whitener, and I'm sure you're all working hard and staying busy on your projects, and I have a favor to ask. This week's format's a bit different. Typically, I interview entrepreneurs and learn about their projects, hear their advice, and find out how they are building freedom in their own lives. But not this week, and I need your help. This is a short podcast, so please listen to the end. All right, let's get started. This is episode 49, What is Bitcoin and Why You Should Care? This week, I've decided to give you a preview of the presentation I'm giving at the FinCon 2016 conference in San Diego on September the 23rd. FinCon is a big financial conference held every year, which caters to financial bloggers, podcasters, and content creators. The average age is 36, and it's 50% male and 50% female. They've asked me to be the first ever speaker on cryptocurrencies, and I'm really excited to present. The purpose of this episode is to give you an idea of the topics I'd like to cover and ask for your feedback and suggestions. Remember, this crowd is young, financially savvy, active on social media, and basically replacing the old school mainstream media. Although they have a background in finance and economics, many of them have only heard of Bitcoin, most likely because of Mt. Gox or the Bitfinex hack, Silk Road, or that it's only used for illegal purposes. You know, the reasons that the media has typically reported on Bitcoin. Also, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people still feeling the burn. And I get the impression that this audience is a bit left of center, whatever that means these days. They hate big banks, they don't like the Federal Reserve, and they're starting to distrust the establishment. I mean, their motto this year is, establishment is out, experience is in. I don't know about you, but this seems ripe for a proper Bitcoin introduction. These are not necessarily technical people. It's not a room full of computer scientists, security engineers, or cypherpunks. These are people who are trying to create financial content for the next generation. I mean, who under 30 listens to CNBC anymore? Before we get started, I have an action item for all of you. Every entrepreneur knows the importance of setting action items and completing them, and I need your help. Understanding that the audience at FinCon 2016, what do you think is the best thing about Bitcoin to help someone new understand why it's so significant and such an evolution in money and finance. Basically, why should they give a f about Bitcoin? Okay, let's get started. I plan to open with a statement that Bitcoin was released and made available to the public on January the 3rd, 2009 with the message, quote, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks, end quote. Basically, Bitcoin was released on the day that the big banks were getting bailed out by taxpayer money. I believe that this is going to catch the fill the burn people and create curiosity around why Bitcoin was released on this day and for this purpose. I expect this to build a lot of rapport very quickly, and I hope to capture a lot of the ears in the crowd with just this single line. I want to leverage this to appeal to their individualistic side and gather support for, quote, freedom of money so they don't need to trust the big banks any longer. There's another option, and it's called Bitcoin, the currency by the people for the people. I think they'll love that line. The idea is to work towards an understanding that more competition in money, just like with restaurants or cars or computers, is in everyone's best interest. If we have an option to freely choose the money that we want to use, then competition can come in and continually improve things. I'll make sure and tell them that there are currently hundreds of other cryptocurrencies, all doing different things to try to attract supporters, and that the freedom of money is theirs if they'll only take it. Since I have experience in offshore banking, I plan to give them some parallels to how Bitcoin is money, but also a payment rail too. 
Basically, Bitcoin competes with the U.S. dollar, the Great British Pound, the Euro, the Japanese Yen, but also with SWIFT, ACH, PayPal, and our more traditional payment rails. Remember, I only want to show them that Bitcoin is another financial option and tool for them to explore and ultimately find their own financial freedom. If I could leave them with the understanding that Bitcoin is basically a bank in their pocket, then it would be a success. Do you think comparing Bitcoin to the banking system like this is too boring? Should I skip it? You know, should I ask them more personal questions or give them more personal uses of Bitcoin? I'm not sure, but let me know. Since the presentation is only 30 minutes long, I may start to run out of time by this point, so I need to finish strong, and I've got a few options in mind. Option number one, Bitcoin in Venezuela and Argentina. I've personally been to Argentina, in Buenos Aires to be exact, back in December 2013 for the first annual Latin American Bitcoin conference. And since then, they've seen rapid inflation in their currency, the Argentinian peso, when compared to the U.S. dollar. And everyone knows that inflation is out of control in Venezuela. I could ask something like, should you have the freedom to choose which currency you want to store your wealth in and to transact in a currency that isn't being hyperinflated by central banks? Maybe you ask them something like, how would your life be affected if you had 100% inflation per year? And should the people of these countries have an alternative money option? Another idea, number two, is math versus politicians. Basically, who do you trust? Remember, a lot of these people were Bernie Sanders fans who ironically got burned with the elections, but most are quite intelligent, just not crypto savvy. I'll remind them that Bitcoin is regulated by math, whereas fiat currencies are regulated by politicians. Who do you trust? Another idea is how to use Bitcoin. I could show them a screenshot of a Bitcoin wallet, maybe give them a demonstration on how scanning QR codes works. I could offer a dollar in Bitcoin to anyone who comes up to me after the presentation and wants to install their first wallet. And I could recommend several wallets for iOS and Android. Another idea I had was a very simple explanation of the blockchain, which I actually see as pretty mandatory. It could be very simple. Basically show them how and why the blockchain is the best store of data in existence and how it is verifiable, immutable, and grassroots. I could talk for two or three hours on this subject, but I've only got 30 minutes. What do you think are the best topics for me to present to a fresh, young crowd of financial content creators? This is not only a great opportunity for me, but a great opportunity for Bitcoin. If these people have the knowledge, resources, and an understanding of how Bitcoin helps the poor, the unbanked, business people, the left, the right, entrepreneurs, and everyone in between, then we could have hundreds more bloggers and podcasters spreading the awesome sauce of Bitcoin rather than just repeating the shenanigans and lies that the establishment media offers. I need your input. One of the best things about being an entrepreneur is that we create networks of people who are actively building, offering advice, and excited to share their experiences and feedback. How can I help you become a more successful entrepreneur? Are you looking to network? Maybe have someone review your business plan. Let me know how I can help. You can help me by tweeting your ideas and feedback to at Liberty E podcast on Twitter. Send an email to me at info at Liberty entrepreneurs.com. Send a message to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Liberty entrepreneurs and, or join the Liberty entrepreneurs public Facebook group. So you can start networking with other fellow Liberty entrepreneurs and start building community together. I'll leave all these links in the show notes. The Facebook social group is pretty quiet right now. I only started it a few weeks ago, but please join and introduce yourself and start a conversation and start networking. I really appreciate you listening to this episode. It's a very special one for me and please share it with a friend until next time. Keep building freedom. <laughs>